For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. We spent 14 nights at Highlands Hammock State Park in Sebring, Florida at the beginning of March. This is a beautiful park. We had visited it many years ago for a day trip and had always wanted to return to this area. Sebring, Florida is in the middle of the state with nice lakes. The town is a nice size and easy to get around with nice shopping areas. The campground has RV sites, primitive camping, and group camping. All of the RV sites have water and electric hookups. There's a dump station and a nice laundry facility, and also the park had good internet access. We had our Google Maps set on no tolls or highways so that we had a scenic route into the campground. This was a mistake. The directions took us into the back entrance down a horrible washboard road. We do not recommend this. Luckily, nothing broke or fell out of the cabinets. As you can see, the campground is a bit cramped. The roads were narrow but manageable. We camped on site 83 and this site was nice because it was at the end of the row and large. We had neighbors on one side only. We love to walk the trails in the park, and Highlands Hammock has beautiful, well-groomed trails. As stated on the Highlands Hammock website, the park is known for its hiking trails, which range in distance from 975 feet to over 3,000 feet. Eight of the nine trails are located on the Loop Drive, and visitors can easily extend their walks as several connect via the bridge or catwalk. Trails run through hy hydric hammocks, cypress swamps, hardwood swamps, and pinewood flats. Hammock means shady place. We think this is one of the nicest state parks in Florida. Little gator over there. See the mama? That's a mama. Look at the boobs. Oh yes, I see that. <clears throat> The ride was about two hours long and was $10 each for adults. It took us through more of the swampy parts of the park where there were many birds and many alligators. At first we thought this area was a graveyard, but it is new citrus trees that are covered with a mesh to keep the wildlife from eating the new leaves. Take notice, cone-shaped projections coming up out of the soil. Those are not new trees. Those are cypress and needs, part of the root system of the existing tree, helping it to breathe in the mucky soil and providing a firm foundation during high winds. And the, and the female is not cannibalistic at all. That's correct. Not of her own babies. That's correct. Mm -hmm. The guide was a past high school teacher and was very knowledgeable and funny. He had names for all the alligators and seemed to know them personally and where they lived. We learned that the female alligators bury the eggs and the temperature of the eggs within the nest determines the sex of the alligators. 
There were multiple generations of young alligators that stayed with the mother for a few years. The younger gators have yellowish stripes that disappear after they get older. We enjoyed the tour and highly recommend it if you're visiting the park. She's coming. Coming at you. Yeah, well, she, she won't mess with me, I don't think. Um, <laughs> well, you know. She's got you her eye think? on you. Watch it. <laughs> All right, next vocabulary word brumation. Are you watching her? You watching? <laughs> yeah, we're watching her. I'm trusted you. <laughs> brumation. You take these North America, these alligators will not go any further north than North Carolina. Naturally. Yeah, she's, okay. Mom, she's easing up on you. Sneaking up on me, huh? They made it once, which means she's probably seven, maybe eight years old, somewhere in there. How long is she? Females do not get over eight feet. They will not mate before they are six feet long. Hmm. Now, you want to estimate an alligator's length, the distance from the eyes to the end of the nose, whatever that is in inches is what they are in feet. Huh. If it's eight inches, she's an eight footer. Hmm. If it's over eight inches, it's probably a male. Hmm. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.